I'm here today representing all the girls who don't have long pretty nails naturally and they look at Jamberry and think that's a great product but it's just not for me. Um, I've had a lot of girls tell me that they like Jamberry, they think the designs are really cute but then they go but I have really short nails, my nails aren't great and so I just don't do anything with them and they decide from that point that Jamberry is just not a product that's for them. So this weekend I decided to cut my nails off and then do an application video that not only shows the basics of how to apply Jamberry, but does it with a short nail. So if you're like me, I not only have short nails, I have a really short nail bed. So when my nails are short, they're really short. And it is hard for me to grow my nails out. To have long nails, it takes a lot of effort. So I'm just gonna take a minute to show you. These are my nails cut off. You can see I've already got a jam on this one. I've already started, but you can see I have a really short nail bed. Um, I think they look like man nails. <laughs> um, and so I like to have polish or something on my nails. That's part of what um, got me interested in Jamberry because when my nails are short, they're not real pretty. I do want to show you, um, this is a picture for proof. This is what my nails look like after I started wearing Jamberry wraps. Can you see them? Oh, look, real long, pretty nails. But I started with these short little guys right here. So I'm just going to show you today how to apply Jamberry wraps, but I want to show you that it is possible to do a Jamberry manicure with short nails. And you might be surprised at how long your nails get if you have a hard time growing your nails out. So the first step to applying your jams is to prep your nails. And you're always going to want to start by pushing back your cuticles. And there's a couple different ways you can do that. I've got some things here that you can use. Um, a simple orange stick works fine. There are also the cuticle pushers that have a little rubber edge that are pretty gentle. And then you can use what they call a spoon pusher, which is a metal cuticle pusher that looks like this. And then it has another end like this that you can use to um, clean around the edge of your nail. And um, this is what I use the most because it's really quick and easy. Um, some people also like to use a cuticle um, cream, a cuticle remover cream, or a cuticle um, exfoliation cream because you want to make sure that you don't have any cuticle on your nail. So you push your cuticle back on each nail and once you have that done, you're going to wash your hands really well with um, soap and water. I use Dawn dish soap because it does a really good job of removing the oils from your nail bed and that's what the nail prep is all about. We want to make sure that we've removed all the oil from your fingernails. So once you've pushed back your cuticles and you've washed your hands well, you're going to take alcohol. This is just a little alcohol swipe. You can use a cotton ball with alcohol. Some people prefer to use white vinegar. Um, and you can always use acetone if that's what you have on hand. I like that I can do my jams without any kind of chemicals at all. So I choose not to use that. And I wrap, wipe each nail really well. Um, some people wipe all their nails at once. Some people do it one at a time as they apply. One at a time is probably the best bet if you think there's a chance you might touch your fingers in between. So once the nails are prepped, then we decide on the size of our wrap. And today I am putting on Icy Rose Polka. And you can see I've used this one quite a bit because I really like it. And I've already used one side of some of my sheet to do this hand. And so I can use the other end of these to do the nails on this hand. So I'm gonna decide which wrap fits my nail best um, by placing it over the nail and just looking to see how it fits. I wanna make sure you can see right up there, you can see there's a little bit of space on that side of my nail between the wrap and my nail and you want that. 
um, you want that tiny bit of space there so that the wrap doesn't touch your skin. If you look at my finished nail, looking head on, it looks like it covers the nail completely, but if I turn it to the side, you can see there's just a little bit of space between my nail and the wrap. That's really important. It's always important if you're not sure which size you need to use the smaller size because if it touches your skin or your cuticle, it won't um, seal completely and then water can get under it and it will cause it to lift. So I pretty much know which size I need for each of my fingers because I've done this a few times. So I'm gonna just use a little pair of manicure scissors and I'm going to use the edge to pull up the wrap. Well, this is not so easy to do on video because I want to make sure that I don't touch the back of the wrap. Then I'm just going to cut it off to a length I know will cover my nail. Since my nails are very short, it does not take a lot and that means I have a lot of wrap left over. This wrap, I've used this end to do one hand, and now I'm using the other end to do the other hand. The cool thing about that is these are accent nails later. I can actually get a full another manicure out of this, um, out of the centers of both sides. So I get three manicures out of my wraps if my nails are shorter. So I'm going to use my orange stick now. I could go ahead and use the scissors. Some people like to use tweezers, whatever works well. And I'm just going to use it to slide under and pick up my wrap. And today I'm showing you the cold method, which means that I don't heat the wrap up before I put it on my nail. I'm going to take my nail and I'm just going to set this down on top in the center. So I'll do that real quick. And you can see I've got it set there. That takes a little practice. You're not going to do it that fast the very first try. That's okay. And once I have it on, I'm just going to kind of check and see on each side. Does it look like it's pretty centered? Yes, it does. If it's not, I can take that orange stick and pull it back up because I haven't pressed it down yet. So this is a really forgiving method um, for when you're first learning to put them on. Because if you get it in the wrong spot, it's not a big deal. You can just pick it back up and set it back down. But once I'm okay with where my wrap is, then I am going to press from the cuticle up the center. And then I'm going to press both sides. Um, some people like to use a cuticle pusher or an orange stick to do that. I just use my finger. Press it down really well. You can see that I have a little bit of wrap sticking over my finger. And you know my nail is really short, so my nail stops way down here. That's going to be just fine. Once I have it down, the next step is to heat my wrap. So I'm going to turn on my little Janberry heater over here. Um, you can always use a blow dryer for this part. The great thing about the Janberry heater is it's super quiet and um, it's hands-free. I don't have to worry about picking up and changing hands and what I'm doing. So I'm going to hold my rack in front of my heater. Oh, look at all the mess down my hallway. For probably about um, five to ten seconds. Metallic wraps, I like to heat a little bit longer um, than just the standard wraps with a print. Once I have it heated, I'm going to press the same way again from my cuticle to the center and then along both sides. Um, some people have a curved nail, which means that you've got to um, really watch when you're pressing it down to make sure that you don't get a buckle in there. And some people also like to take this end and pull it and kind of stretch it out and down. I don't really have to do that with my nails. And um, there are lots of other tips and things. If you're having trouble with an application, that can help. But I think always start with the simplest and then we can add steps if we need to. So I just stick mine on, press it down, heat it up, press it down again, let it go. Then I move on to the next nail. That lets this wrap start to Cool before I worry about taking the extra off. So I'm going to prep my second nail and do the same thing. I'm going to pick the wrap that fits that nail. I'm going to lift up on the edge of it 
trim it off where I need it. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Sorry. So I've trimmed it off. I'm going to take my orange stick and pick up the edge. I'm going to set it on the nail right in the center. I don't want it to touch my cuticle. I don't want it to touch the sides of my nail, so I'm just kind of checking the placement. Make sure it's centered. I'm going to press up the center of my nail and on both sides. Press it down really well. Pressure and heat are the keys to getting a really good seal on your rack. I'm going to heat it really well. And then I'm going to press it again. So while I was doing this nail, that gave this wrap time to cool. And now I'm going to show you how to take off that extra wrap. I have that extra wrap sticking up. And this is one of the steps that girls with short nails go, oh, I don't know what to do because I don't have enough nail to file. Because the standard method for filing your Jamberry nail is to file straight down at a 90 degree angle. Going in one direction, straight down, and it takes that edge off. Well, if you don't have nail at the end of your finger, that's all but impossible. So I'm going to have you hold your file at about a 45 degree angle, and that does two things. One, it makes it possible to get the wrap filed to the edge of your nail when you don't have a nail sticking out there. And it takes the very, very edge of the wrap off down past your nail. Not enough that you can see it. These are done that way. You can't tell that the ends have a big chunk of wrap missing. But I use my nails. I'm hard on them. And if I have my wrap sticking out to the edge of my nail, or if I've not done a great job filing it and it's actually sticking out past the edge of my nail just a tiny bit, my nails will start lifting on the tips because I use my nails a lot. I'm really hard on my nails. So I'm gonna hold the file at about a 45 degree angle. I'm still just gonna file one way and pick up and file again. But I'm gonna file all the way around the edge and this is just a Sally Hansen file. Um, it's got a fairly good amount of grip to it. Um, some people prefer to take the end of their jam off initially with a grittier file than this. And some people like to clip theirs off. But if you've got short nails, it can be kind of tricky to clip. So what I've done is I've just filed and you can see there's the end of the jam. And I can just it off. And so now there's my jam all on my short nail. Makes my nail all cute and pretty even though it's short. Lots of fun. And if you want to, people sometimes like to heat them a second time or heat them one more time after they've taken the nail on the end of the jam off. I don't usually do that because I don't have any trouble with that, especially when my nails are short. When my nails are a little longer, um, sometimes I will do that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you need to know for a basic application. I'll go ahead and file this one off and finish um, up my last couple of fingers. But um, I think that is, that is it for the basics of how to do a Jamberry application with short little man nails. <laughs>